Soul and Body, W. Shakespeare. Morbidity is in no short supply in some of Shakespeare's poems. This one, that seems to say the soul encourages the body's deterioration because, with death, the soul is released, is one such. The soul has no choice, and it is trapped in its earthly body. The lofty heights of possibility are hampered by the natural world. There is a dichotomy between inner restraint and showy outer displays. The body is short-lived, why expend so much energy on outer display and entertainment? The soul is nourished by the depletion of the body. It is seeking its freedom. Soul and body, they need each other, and both are released with death. Soul and body. Poor soul, the center of my sinful earth, fooled by those rebel powers that thee array. Why dost thou pine within and suffer dearth, painting thy outward walls so costly gay? Why so large cost, having so short a lease, dost thou upon thy fading mansion spend? Shall worms, inheritors of this excess, eat up thy charge? Is this thy body's end? Then, soul, live thou upon thy servant's loss, and let that pine to aggravate thy store. By terms divine in selling hours of dross, within be fed, without be rich no more. So shalt thou feed on death that feeds on men, and death once dead, there's no more dying then.